Hey, I'm the cat toy lady. Today's toy is a theme toy. We are going to be making an out of this world rocket ship. That is a cat bed. The supplies that I have today, I have four pieces of foam board. From the Dollar Tree, I have the six inch clear bowls, a two pack, but we're only going to need one of them. Clear tape, a ruler, a pencil, and an X-Acto blade. I went ahead and printed these. They're gonna look like the stickers that sit on the side of the SpaceX rockets. Look, pound sex instead of SpaceX, get it? Like I say, it's the little things. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to cut one of the sheets, but you're going to do this to three sheets. So for the first step, I'm going to just make this 20 inch side, 18 inches. Now we are going to mark every six inches going down both the short ends. Now connecting those dots, we are going to lightly cut through the top layer of paper, not all the way through, just lightly scoring. Just like that. Now down the longer ends, we are going to mark 18 inches across from each other. Now again, just lightly scoring, not cutting all the way through, we are going to connect those two dots. Like that. So that line that we just put in is right here. I have the full 18 inches on this side and about 12 inches on this side. On this side is where we're going to make our next marks. Going three inches down, we're gonna make a mark, and then every six inches. So basically it's like the halfway point in between each of those lines. Now from this line, the mark you just made, from basically from one corner to that point, you're going to be cutting through, like this. Now that we have these pieces cut out, I'm going to flip it over. This is the side that we put those little score lines. I'm gonna flip it over and just bend it on those lines. putting creases into it. Can you start to see the shape of the rocket? Now repeat this on the other pieces. Once you get your three sheets cut out, set two of them to the side. Now with one of those sheets, you're going to place it the cut sides down. And we're going to be working with that middle panel. You'll be able to see the fold marks in it. Along where the crease is, you're going to mark 10 inches from that straight edge. Do it on both of them. And then connect the dots. Like that. That line's going to show you where the bottom spot of this bowl is going to go. Line it up in between the creases and that bottom line, and then trace around it. We're going to use that circle as a guide and we are going to come in about an eighth of an inch and draw a second circle. Freehand is okay. Just like that. Now cut that inner circle out. And now with the bowl poking through from the inside, your cat has a window. Sorry, I forgot to tell you in the beginning, I am going to be using my low tint glue gun too. If you've seen any of my other videos, no, not hot glue, low temp. This foam board expands with heat. We don't want it. So while this is up in the air where the bowl can sit nice and snug, I'm going to go ahead and go around it with glue. Then turn it upside down and just press it firmly as it cools. While that's cooling, I'm gonna take the other two pieces and sandwich them together with the cut sides facing each other. Now working with one of the side panels, I'm going to mark three inches up on one of those panels. Do it at the crease and on the edge. And then connect your dots, like that. Now on that line you just made, from the edge, I'm going to mark four inches over. Now from that line you made, we're going to go up eight inches, which is 11 inches from the bottom. We are going to mark the edge of the panel and at the crease, and connect those dots. And just the same as before, from the side edge, we're going to mark out four inches. Now your two four inch marks, connect those dots. Just like that, and where I have the squiggly marks, we're going to cut that piece out, but we're going to do it while the pieces are sandwiched and do it too thick. When you open them up, they sit like this. The 
this is actually going to be the door for your cat to be able to get inside the spaceship. Now we're going to start connecting everything together with the clear tape. We are going to do it with everything with that cut side laying down. I'm going to start with the front that has the window. I'm going to be putting it up against one of the back pieces we made on the opposite side from where we have the hole. Bump it up to where you have a nice straight line at the bottom and then everything is pressed sideways together nice and firmly. And I'm going to go from where the V is all the way down, pressing the pieces nice and firmly together. Again at the bottom, and then a piece in the middle. Now I'm going to take this piece and actually flip it to the other side so I can get all of the front tape first. Make sure everything sits nice and snug and the lines are straight. Now I'm going to reach through and tape the last section together. And now we sand it up. It's starting to come together. And I think it's going to be easier if I put just a little bit of the painter's tape on the outside to keep the pieces where they should be and then reach through and tape the inside. Now that everything's in place, I'm just going to run tape along each seam. Now take the blue tape off. While I have my glue gun available, I am just going to stick a little bit of glue right on the top and press everything together. You may notice something looks a little funny about the rocket ship. It doesn't have its wings. Now from our last piece, I'm going to make two rectangles that are 14 by eight inches wide. Now going from one corner to the opposite corner, I'm just going to kind of do a rounded edge. Nothing fancy. Now making sure everything is sitting squared, I'm gonna cut it out. Wings. So you can decorate this however you want. I think besides the stickers, I'm going to make the wings blue. Yes, you can paint them, but sometimes painting can warp the foam board. So I am just going to glue on with some rubber cement, blue construction paper. One side's done. I'm going to glue the wings on just like this in the middle of the side panel. I'm going to run glue straight down the cool glue gun, remember not hot glue. And then I'm going to just squish it and hold it till it cools. Now let's put our stickers on. So there we go, it's done. Turned out really cute, my cats are gonna love it. Foam board holds heat, I'll put a nice bed in it, and then when they sit up and they look out the window, it'll be the best picture. Pound sex is ready for lift off. Do you wanna make a cool bed for your cat but don't wanna make this one? check out these videos and that subscribe button right underneath you should hit that too now go make your cat some toys